We need to start something. Under siege and completely outnumbered, brave police officers desperately try to stay in control. Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Put them behind your back! These secret police videos have never been seen before until now. Angry bikies on the attack, fueled by a hatred of authority and a pack mob mentality. These gangs and their standover tactics have no place in a modern society. The violence escalates to breaking point in just seconds as these hero police stand their ground. Well, mate, we're surrounded here. We need urgent assistance. It's Friday night and this busy restaurant strip is packed with families. Families who had no idea they are about to be caught up in a violent bikey rampage. This is the type of arrogance that they thought they could get away with. Tonight's evening police shift starts like any other. Gold Coast officers patrolling the popular tourist strip, keeping a watchful eye as families and holiday makers eat out. Some of these officers have cameras mounted on their chests. Here you go, mate. Got any idea on your boss? They switch the cameras on for their own protection when they encounter a massive number of banditos bikes. So great is this particular bikey's arrogance, he refuses to answer police questions about why so many banditos are in this small area. Where are you guys at to? Where are you guys at to? Luke. What's, what's the deal, man? The officers know something is up. Hordes of gang members are walking towards a family restaurant. It's alleged that a dispute over a girl has several of them looking to settle an old score with a man from a rival motorcycle club. This bikey appears relaxed and sets his sights on intimidating a policewoman nearby. She doesn't want to give you a number. Ask her for her address and name too. <laughs> hey, I can cook a really nice dinner, you know? I even wash up the dishes. By now, police can sense trouble is about to start. Every available car and officer in the area is radioed in for backup, as officers on the ground try to intercept more bikies heading to the restaurant, hell-bent on lending their numbers to an already intimidating crowd. Grab some stragglers and just hold them back. The aim is to question them and delay them joining up with the growing number of leather jackets. Yeah, we just have uh, all green in that area and two one. You can start for patrols to show our presence. But there can be no stopping the sheer number of bikies swarming into the midst of innocent families. The police radio bellowing with urgent requests for backup. Maybe a couple of minutes from uh, just going through their main inspection now. The officer filming this video spots the bikey he interviewed earlier, positioning himself behind the same policewoman he arrogantly taunted only moments before. Mate, don't stand behind an officer, hey? Don't stand, don't, don't go up and stand right behind her, buddy. You know how it works. Incredibly, it's the bikies who tell the officers they need to settle down. Calm down, man. And it's, it is just uh, so abhorrent and, uh, and, and just absolute uh, uh, disgusting behaviour to think that they are able to, uh, to stand over those people, the officers, that are there to protect the people. Jack Dempsey is the Queensland Police Minister. He says this type of behaviour by the banditos is typical of the outlaw gang's arrogance. But these thugs and people who think they can intimidate even our hardest working police officers have nowhere to go. 
the two officers filming are now standing next to each other. And both of their cameras are rolling as all hell breaks loose. Families are cowering in fear as quick-thinking police draw their taser guns to separate the bikies and subdue the violence. Stay back! Their taser guns and orders to surrender eventually start to work as more and more bikies hit the deck and slowly this section of the brawl is brought under control. Don't you move! Move back! Move back! Move back now! Move back! Move back! Move back. Move back. But tonight's violence is far from finished and police know it. Well, mate, we're surrounded here. We need urgent assistance. Stay back! Stay back where you are. Another group of bikies is still trying to get past police to the scene of the brawl that started it all. Keep moving back. Stand back, stand back. Stand back, bro. It's clear from the footage the bikies have no fear or respect for the police. They even taunt and abuse officers, challenging them to a fight. It's these videos which prompted the Queensland government to act and introduce the toughest bikie legislation the country has ever seen. This standoff is extremely volatile. I need every available unit possible to this location, OK? I've got two sides, they're both about to go, it's clearly outnumbered. Bikies are advancing as quickly as they're pushed back and the abuse is flying. <laughs> Police ignore the sledging, but that only prompts another bikey to take it even further. Boys, Boys who's in charge with you guys? I don't know. Richard. The threats are continuous and personal. Redheads always cause the most trouble, eh? The teased all day at school. With gang members running on adrenaline and high on aggression, officers are continually watching each other's back. Six More police arrive, but they're still outnumbered and the bikies aren't finished. Nearby restaurants pack up their tables as frightened diners start to flee. Eventually, a leader of the Banditos negotiates with officers an arrangement for he and his comrades to leave. They are exceptional officers. The Queensland Police Minister couldn't be more proud of these hero men and women who put their safety on the line to protect innocent bystanders. In this particular instance, these particular officers were able to show uh, ex uh, excellent police work to be able to contain the situation, to avert further violence and ensure that uh, the situation was calm for all involved. 18 people were charged as a result of the Broad Beach bikey brawl. Fortunately, though, no innocent bystanders were hurt. Uh, we're certainly going to ensure that uh, we support our police, we give them the resources, and uh, I'd just like to thank those officers. Stay back where you are.